Hi, this is a demo video for the Sony RDC W500C. It's a compact disc recorder unit. Um, this unit is in nice shape. There's a five disc changer on deck A and then the single disc recorder on deck B. Um, this unit has analog inputs analog output and then analog and, or digital out and in. Here is the serial number and model number for reference. It's in pretty good shape. It's not perfect, but it's definitely not beat up or anything. It's not been dented and bounced around. There's kind of a weird mark in the middle there. I think some something from a capacitor or something leaked out from a component that was above it few years ago and um, just made that stain on the top but again it's not it's just cosmetic um, I'm gonna turn this unit on and I'm gonna show you that the mechanics all work in it on the changer side and that everything plays properly so we're gonna Pop in five CDs here. This will take a couple minutes because it has got the first ones in there already. Go to the second one. There we go. Okay, go to the third one. Fourth one. And go to the fifth one. Okay. Now I'm actually going to swap out this first one for a different desk real quick. You can hear all the mechanics working inside. All right. Now, all five discs are loaded. TOC reading is table of contents, so it's just reading the disc to know how many tracks and everything are on there. Okay, so I am going to Gonna go ahead and I got the remote comes with it too. The remote work functions. Um, we're gonna hit play and just gonna show you it will move track to track. Playing on these speakers through that Sony receiver. I can go to the next track. You can see it's playing track to track just fine. I'm going to skip disc. Now it's going to move over to disc number two. And we'll play that. Track the track. And go to the next disc skip. Go to disc number three. Play. Okay, so these are all, functions are all working. Let's go to disc four, oops, 
didn't want him to eject yet. What's cool is you can eject CDs while another one is playing, so that's a good demonstration. All right, I'm gonna skip disc. Move on to number four. And play. Kind of a soft intro on these. In here. Fast forward. Reverse. So yeah, it's all working. I'm gonna to skip to the last disc, show you that that's working. I'm gonna pull all the discs out, except for one, and then I'll show you the recording process real quick. Show you how that's working. There. All right, so these are all working. These out real quick just to show you that the eject works and all the mechanics are functional. one out and then do a little recording. Okay. Now, one disc is left in there. <clears throat> now, um, this is the media I'm using to do this test recording. This is a blank CD, a CDR, 80 minutes. Um, I cannot guarantee that this unit is going to work on anything else beyond what I'm showing you here because I've heard that, you know, some CD recorders will only do certain media and they won't do others, even if it's the same type of CDR. Uh, the Sony does seem to work good for me. I haven't had any problems with it. So we're going to put this in. Close it up. And we're just going to do a kind of a manual record. Um, so right now it's reading and trying to determine if there's something on the disc. You're going to see it's going to show a message showing blank disc. Once it determines there's nothing on it. There we go, blank disc. So to put this unit into like a record standby mode, you just simply hit the record button. Okay. Okay, now <clears throat> it's preparing to record onto this disc here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play, which is going to actually start the new recording on the first track, okay? So we're going to hit, we're going to hit the play. And now it's recording. I'm going to hit play over here. This first CD is going to start playing. Okay, it's recording that first track now. turning the volume down here. You'll see the levels are here. Um, you can adjust those levels if you need to. 
um, using a menu uh, before you start recording. There's a there's a menu button on this. It's a menu and O, and then you can press that, and then you can adjust the level here. You can adjust the level on the various inputs, whether it's this or the rear inputs um, or whatever it may be. You can adjust those individual levels. Now, there is a record level here, but this is only to adjust record level from the analog input from the back on the RCHX. So if you're doing a level set um, from, say, this unit here that's playing, you need to get into the menu system. Um, the good thing is you can get the owner's manual for this off the Sony website still for free. It's a PDF format. It's easy to read. And I cannot explain everything in a short video like this. So you'll have to read through those instructions and understand how to record with this unit and the different ways you can do that because there are numerous ways to do it. Um, I've also recorded an entire CD where it was in synchro mode, they call it, and it recorded all the tracks and everything um, just fine. So it's just like I had a duplicate CD. Um, and that, that worked really well. And that unit, that disc could play on other units. That's why I have this secondary generic player up on top here is to show you how this is going to play. This is one that I recorded previously. So this one does work on other CD players. Um, there is also a process when you're recording in order for this disc to play on other units, you have to, what they say, finalize it. Um, there's a button here that says finalize. You have to do that once your CD is done recording and you're happy with what's on there. Um, once you finalize it, you cannot go back and change anything on it. But that finalizing process allows it to be played on other CD players. Until you do that, this is the only CD player that it can play back on this B deck. It will not play on this one or any other deck. It'll only play back on this until you finalize it. Then you can play it back on any other device. Um, but again, you know, I can't guarantee, you know, universal um, compatibility with all units. This is an old unit. It is functioning as the instructions have said, but, uh, Please read through thoroughly the instructions and please understand what you're buying here uh, because this isn't a, you know, a simple 100% compatibility with all other devices type of thing. All right, so now we're still recording and turn the volume back up here. What we're going to do here is we're going to pause. And every time I pause, it's going to create a new track on this one. So I'm going to go to the next track using this AMS on the source. And now it's recording on a new track. Okay. Same here, I hit it again, pause, it's doing a new track. Every time you hit pause and hit it again, it's going to start recording and create a new track number. All right, so now we've recorded two or three tracks on this thing. I'm going to hit stop on the source. And I'm going to hit stop on the record side. And... Now, this unit, now this CD will not play on these other units, okay, until you do the finalization process. So I'm going to show you what it will do if you try to play it in another unit. Okay. You try and load it. It just spins. 
just does not play. Okay, it just won't play because this disk is not finalized. So it doesn't have all the information written to it yet to make it universal for other types of machines other than this unit here, this particular side, this B deck. So what we're going to do is put this back in and we're going to we're going to let it read here. It's going to try and read the table of contents. Okay. And then we're going to hit Now it's done doing that. We're going to hit the finalize. Now it's asking, do I want to finalize this? Now there is a yes button here. We're going to hit yes. And it's finalizing making this disk playable in other players. It does take a little time. Yeah, see, it's going to take a minute or so. It gives you a countdown timer that shows you how long it takes to finish. So it's doing a countdown here. Sorry it takes so long, but that's just how this unit works. So I will include five blank Sony CDR uh, discs with this unit. Once this is finalized, I'll pull it out and I'll show you that it works in this other unit up here. This is just a generic CD player up here. There's it, it plays DVDs and CDs, but it's just a real generic GP thing. And uh, I'll show you. Okay, complete. All right, so this has been finalized. We're going to first I'll show you that it plays out here. Okay, we can go to the next track, oops, I need to turn it to deck B. Okay, deck B, there we go, I will pull this disc out just to show you that it's not playing this original. There we go. It is just playing off of the recorded disc. That's the only thing in here now. See, none of these are lit up. The only disc in here is this guy. Okay. So we will. There we go. It's playing. We'll go to the next one. There we go. You can also change tracks. I only put laid down three tracks on this one. Yep. So there you go. It does work. I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to play it back in this generic cheapy player up here. Show you that the finalized process did work. Remember, it would not play in here before I finalized it. It just sat there and spun. We're going to hit play. We're going to switch the inputs over here to the CD player there. There we go. I go to that. So yeah. So it is playing. 
This first track has a few second delay before it starts playing because we didn't hit play right away. <laughs> So well, there you have it. This unit is working, records well. Um, it's, again, it's it's uh, definitely old, but it, it is functioning. Uh, please download the manual, read the manual through. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want any further testing done. I'd be happy to make you a video to show you that it is operable. Um, that's not a problem. I will. I have pictures posted, of course, on eBay for this listing, and thanks for viewing. Bye.